Hi guys, I'm back. As promised, I'm gonna do a little pour and tell you about the project I'm working on. Now, if you can imagine this, this is a scale. This is uh, 30 centimeters by 14. So if you blow this up 10 times, you get three meters by one meter 40. And what this is gonna be is the background or the, the headboard of a bed. So I received a mail from uh, the owner of a big hotel in Barcelona in Spain and he had seen some of my videos and he really liked the, the pouring but also he is an admirer of um, the artist Salvador Dali and I don't know if you know the, the, the artist, if you don't please go on look because he is amazing and it's Salvador Dali and if you only do the last name only this one you'll get you'll get their artist Dali and you'll you'll find it um, he does these uh, amazing paintings uh, of those clocks hanging over branches and like these horses with very long legs and all kinds of stuff it's really beautiful and what the i'm not going to name the the person's name because i don't like doing names on uh, on the internet but the 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 owner of this hotel he was um he was really um overcome by the the beauty of the the clocks hanging over the branches so if you look at this and you imagine that this is a headboard and um, I'll show you what it looks like. This is uh, one made out of, uh, uh, I think it's cardboard or something like that. But as you can see, three meters. And then this is one meter 40. Then here are two little tables. And when this folds, you'll see that um, this little pour right here will be on top of this little table and then this one will be coming swooping down here and then the big one here will be going straight down on the table it's like the paint is gonna pour right down and over the table and that's it's I've seen one prototype um, because I've already sent some of my pours and I've seen one prototype and it just blew me away it was so beautiful it really is now um, the owner is going to um, give out some sort of a discount code for a hotel room then if you want to go over there and uh, when it's finished you can stay in a room with a pour on your bed <laughs> that is awesome isn't it guys yeah, that's so awesome so um, there's something like seven uh, floors of uh, rooms and um, He's, he's in the in the process of mixing and matching and looking what he wants on uh, on the uh, on the beds so um, he is sort of an artist all by himself because he does the color coordination like everything has to fit like the bed spreads and then and, and the the carpeting and the the light fixtures everything is going to be you know something amazing so when you walk into a room, it, it should give you a total feeling of calm, you know, that you come into a room and it's sort of like the sea, but sort of like art and sort of like everything all together, all bunched into one. So, um, as you can see, this is still wet pretty much. So I've got to be careful because I really like this one. So I'll put this aside, but as you can imagine, this being on the uh, headboard of a bed, it's going to be awesome. It really is. <clears throat> and over on the tables I have like I don't know I think I poured 20 here this afternoon and um, the the com combining of these pours are totally up to uh, the owner because I want him you know to do exactly what he wants with them all I do is pour and he will uh, create something beautiful on the bed so it's a sort of um, not only my 
input but also his because he chooses what fits together and what he really uh, likes to see so that's going to be cool okay so that's that i was really excited about that and i didn't say anything because you know some sometimes people don't want you to uh, talk about it until it's finished but i emailed um yesterday and i asked you know can i tell uh, the people that are following me on youtube and he said, sure you can, and I'll even give them a discount if they come to my hotel to uh, look at them. So I thought that was really super. Okay, back to the pour. Uh, as you can hear, I'm still not totally um, over the, uh, the sniffles. Still there. And it's going to stay that way, I think, uh, at least until January, because everyone is sniffing at work, everyone. Okay, I'm going to do a 20 by 20. And like I said, I have started doing um, like a pour with speed. And maybe that's something that you can try too. Because sometimes people, when they don't get the cells and you put a little bit of speed in the paint, you get better cells. Now, another thing I want to address is um, that's, I think one of the most questions asked lately is about... Uh, gessoing the canvases. Now, what you want to do is you hold this up to the light, and I can't show you right here, but the best thing is daylight. You hold your canvas up in daylight. If there is just one little tiny little uh, pinhole that, that you can see through, you need to gesso, because that's a telltale sign that it's not totally you know, closed. But when you buy white canvases like this, they are gessoed because this is the real color of the uh, of the fabric on the on the uh, frame. This is the real color, and this is the gesso. And what gesso really does is closes the whole fabric so that the paint can't come through. And that's what you want to look for when you look outside. You hold it up into the light. You can see a little bit here where the light shines through, but you can't look straight through it. If you see pinholes, you need to gesso. So that's the thing about gesso. <clears throat> and I check all my canvases. They, they don't have any holes in them at all. I'm going to start off with uh, a lot of this uh, beige. And I'm going to empty out all the cups. Here we go. And a nice little bit of green. And a nice little bit of blue. And of course some white, because we need white. And a little on top. Then the green turquoise. And I want some dark blue for the contrast. Ooh, that's a lot of paint, but doesn't matter. This is the last of it. Tiny little bit of blue on top, and the last of the uh, of the beige. Now we have a nice full cup of paint, and I am gonna give it a quick swirl. It's all Winsor & Newton, and there is um, uh, four drops of silicone in every color, and it is mixed with uh, Vallejo pouring medium and Vallejo gloss medium. A little bit of Floetrol, just a, just a dash, all mixed up, a little bit of water to get the right consistency, and then I add the, the final uh, drops of silicone. So here we go. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> Now let it go swooping all over the place. I think this is going to turn out really pretty. 
corner covered. Oops, there's a corner. A little bit of a corner exposed here. And we're good to go. Oh no, here's another corner exposed. Now we're good to go. And I'm going to come in with the torch, of course. I do like the uh, big cells. Maybe I should just torch a little bit. They are pretty cells. Maybe just like this and leave that because I really like this. I do want the sides to have a little bit of cell coverage. Wow, these are some awesome cells, I can tell you that. because I am going to add a little bit of glitter. Yes, I am, because I like it so much. Oops. And I'm going to put two together. Uh, I'm gonna be using the blue um, holographic glitter. That's this one. See that? And I'm going to use the green, the really fine glitter. So these two, I'm going to put them together. And they have the pretty much the same color that the pour has. And I'm only going to put it over the bit where there are cells. like that. That is cool. That's where the most of the glitter is. A little bit here, a little bit there. That's sweet. Wow. If you see it up close, let me get you in focus here. There we are. Look at those cells. They are beautiful. So I like this also, this bit here with the big ones and this, the nice and swoopy kind of movement. I kind of like that. There we go. Now I have to get a, um, a little space for this. So hold on. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do a little swipe. I'm just going to do two, no more than that. That's more than enough. I'm going to let this come down. Get my pellet knife and help it a little bit. is and I'm shaking off excess paint because otherwise it'll never dry that 
isn't that's nice. Putting it on here. And I'm going to be using this for um, jewelry. I know I have six million of these. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I, I want to dust it just a little bit. Just a little touch of uh, glitter, just a tiny bit. A little bit down here, a little bit up there. Just to give it a hint, you, you can't almost can't see it, but when you turn it in the light, when it's dry, it'll be beautiful. So I'm gonna take a cup and put this one away. I'm having a little trouble finding space to let stuff dry. So uh, here's the next one. Scooping it up. Letting it come down. Get that one out. That'll close up. I'll just help it. There we go. Ooh, I like playing with paint. I don't know what that is, but it's like playing with mud, I think. <laughs> okay. Now we let it swoop down and tap it like that. Get all that excess paint off. That's it. Okay, that's uh, more than we need. And I'll show you up close. Let's see. There you go. And I'm sure, you know, you can cut out a lot of pretty, pretty parts. I'm pretty sure. But just giving it a little dust again. There it is, ready for it to dry and make some pretty jewelry. See that? A little dust of uh, glitter. And I'll have to go find a place to put it. Okay, we're ready. The rest can go. 
Ooh, I do like that. <laughs> but this is it. I really like that. Let's see what we can do with that. That by itself is beautiful. Just want to torch it, you know. If you see something like this, all you want to do is torch, right? Let me get you up close. Oh, can't touch my hat. Let's see where that thing is, if I can find it. Nope. Yep, there you go. That is kind of cool. I like this, this bit. Really nice. Too bad we can't save it. Oh, maybe we can. Shall we try that? Because this has all got to go. But we just might try and save the whole um, the whole thing. Let's see if I can zoom you out again. Uh, nope. Yep. There we go. Now I just might try and save this because uh, then I can cut this all out here and do something with it. But you know, like I said, you know, once I move down to the studio, I will have so much room to dry, and I'm already full totally full of everything's laying around no place for nothing okay that's it I'm, I'm stopping okay guys thanks for watching uh, I'll see you all back on Saturday I will be emailing the people that have won the uh, the giveaway of November so I'll see you all on Saturday and I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. See you later.